All right, guys, welcome to the third and final excerpt of my In My Mailbox this week. These are ARCs that I picked up at Romantic Times. Um, it's not, they don't have, it's not like other like library conferences or BEA where they have a ton, ton, a ton sitting around, but they have, when you get there, they give you a goodie bag, basically. Um, and there's like books in it. And then as a librarian, I got extra bags, like other bags that they had specifically for librarians and booksellers. And then there's a goodie room where you get like this card and you can go in and they tell me, tell you how many books you can pick out. So that's what these are from. Again, I don't think this is all of them, but um, it's most of what I got. So to start, actually this one I didn't get from my goodie bag or my goodie room. I met the author. J.A. London is the name for a um, mother-son writing team. Um, Rachel Hawthorne. She writes um, some young adult like romances and she has the Dark Guardian series, which I love. It's werewolves. If you've not read it, you should. Or actually, more, I mean, werewolves, but more like shapeshifters, not so much like Paul at the Moon, um, like like not so much team wolf werewolves um but i actually met her she also writes adult historical fiction and so um i was talking or i saw sophie jordan who writes adult historical fiction and sarah mclean and they were with her and we got to talking and she gave me this art cover book and i'm so excited because it's one that um, i have been wanting to read it comes out in june from harper teen it's a story of a girl named don montgomery and it's in the future and there's been a war between humans and vampires and the vampires won okay so humans kind of serve the vampires and dawn has lost all of her family and she's chosen from her area to be like their representative or what's the word they use their, their delegate to lord valentine who's kind of the local like head vampire um obviously she's not a huge fan of vampires but then she meets victor lord valentine's son and realizes that perhaps they're not all evil um so i'm super excited to read that one also from harper team this one's coming in july tiger lily like the tiger lily like peter pan and tiger lily how cool is that um it's tiger lily's story um, she's part of a tribe on in Neverland. Peter is the leader of the Lost Boys, kind of the the bad boys of Neverland, and she's forbidden to asso for, to associate with him. Obviously, she still does. Um, and it's kind of her story of what goes on kind of before Peter Pan met Wendy. And so I'm super excited for that. Pushing the limits. It's coming in August from Harlequin Teen. It's by Katie McGarry, and this is um. A story of a girl, it reminds me of Perfect Chemistry, and actually the author per Perfect Chemistry blurbed it, so that might be why. Um, but it's a story of a girl who is like kind of pretty popular, has everything going for her, but then one night everything changes and she doesn't even exactly remember what happens, but now she's kind of a social outcast and then she meets this kind of bad boy and they don't really have much in common, but clearly they have something in common from that cover, right? Um, so I'm excited to read that one. Rift by Andrea Creamer. It's the prequel to the Nightshade trilogy. It sounds really good. I'm going to read you the little blurb on the back because that's what had me sold. Um, with action, adventure, magic, and tantalizing sensuality, this breathtaking prequel to the Nightshade series introduces readers to a new heroine who isn't afraid to love fiercely and fight for what she knows is right. How cool does that sound? Um, this is coming from uh, Penguin or Philomel in August. And then the last one, and this is the one I'm most excited about, like those other ones look awesome, but I read an excerpt of this one in the Penguin catalog and have been dying for it ever since. It's Venom by Fiona Paul. It comes out in October, um, but it's still at like the top of my reading list. I'm not waiting. Um, okay, get this guys. It's like romance, thriller, murder, mystery in Renaissance Venice. How cool is that, right? And there's like secret society kind of aspects to it as well. So yeah, pretty much all the things I love. And it's the first, I believe, in a series, I don't know if it's going to be a trilogy or what, but called The Secrets of the Eternal Rose. So I'm thrilled about that. Um, now I'm going to even go even faster because I've already taken too long. Finished copies that I got. Um, actually, I already own this one, but it's Demon's Covenant by Sarah Reese Brennan. It's the second in her trilogy, and this is the UK cover, and I love the UK covers better than the US. So I have this one in the UK covers. Now I just need to find the first two with UK covers. So also Brody Ashton's Everneath. Brody read aloud from this um, during the author speed reading and I'm super excited to read it. Tempest Rising by Tracy Deeves. Um, a mermaid book. How cool does that look? Lots of mermaid books coming out. I can't wait to read them though because that is just really interesting to me. Illuminate by Amy Agres Agresti. I have no idea. I'm sorry Amy. How pretty is that cover? And I love that these wings are kind of like, it, they look more prominent from here, but they're kind of shadowed. So you're not really sure what it means. A Breath of Air. Kensington Teen, I'm loving them. Um, great books coming from them. And this one is about um, this girl who kind of like goes into stories, basically. Um, and this one is A Breath of Air, so it's a Jane Eyre book. 
Shadow Spell, I believe it's the second in the in the Fairy Walker novels. The first one is Glimmer Glass. Okay, very cool. Um, and then the last one I'm super excited about, Sweet Venom by Tara Lynn Childs. I don't know where I've been that I haven't heard of this book, but it looks totally amazing. And I have her other ones um, in my middle school library, but it's the story of the descendants of Medusa. And basically all those bad things we heard about Medusa, they were a smear campaign. Medusa was actually a guardian and kind of a good being, like she did good stuff. Um, and so this is the story of her modern day descendants. Um, and yeah, she read Tara Lynn Childs read aloud from the next book coming in the series um, during the author's feed reading. And she has me totally hooked, so I can't wait to start this one. Um, so yeah, that's all the books that I'm going to show you today, and it was a great week. I had so much fun at RT. Um, I'm writing up a review post right or a recap post right now. Actually, hopefully I posted it yesterday. If not, it's on its way. So I hope you had a great week as well, um, and I will see you around. Bye.